All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Critical Temperature Gauge mod, which was originally made way back in the day by forum user Ravian. It has since been taken over and continued by user Telnamare. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, a temperature gauge that shows when heat is getting critical. And I love this mod. Now, of course, I know, I know, I know, we do have a little temperature bar that pops up on any part that is starting to heat up to critical levels, but the problem I've always had with those is I usually don't see them until it's way too late because the color is roughly the same as the inferno that our ship is engulfed in. And so, yeah, I have a tendency to miss them. So the ability to have an actual visual, very easy to see temperature gauge that also does provide us with a lot of extra additional information is a wonderful tool. So let's take a look at how all it works. Now there's no parts to look at today, so let's jump right to the heat test ship that I have on the launch pad and we're going to go, once it is loaded, to this lovely new button here of a little thermometer. Just click that, and we get our critical temperature gauge options, which is very nice. We have a lot of good options in here to basically customize this thing how you'd like. Now, as you can see right now, there is no temperature gauge anywhere, but if we would like to force it on, one of the first options here is always show gauge. Now, I'm going to turn that on, but the reason it's default defaulted to off is because typically how this works when it is off is the gauge will only turn on once you've reached a specific temperature threshold. Now that temperature threshold is determined by these two gauges up here. Now the showing threshold is right up at the top and what that 0.5 means is that at roughly half the maximum survivable temperature of the weakest part on your ship the gauge will turn on. And then once it starts to cool, at roughly 40% of the maximum survivable temperature of the weakest part of your ship, it will then turn back off. Now for our ship, the weakest part, amusingly, is actually the thermometer, which you'd think would actually be the most survivable, but no, it is the weakest, as it can only survive 1200K, or I'm, I'm assuming Kelvin, that's what that's supposed to be. And uh, we know this because, well, right up here on our temperature gauge, it shows us the weakest part right there, my thermometer, what its maximum temperature is right here, the 1200K, what the current temperature is at 311, and over here we have the rate of increase or decrease of the temperature shown in Kelvin per second. And that is all very awesome, and I love the idea of it showing you the weakest part on the ship, which again, amusingly, is the thermometer, which just blows my mind. But yes, and so that you know exactly which part to look out for and hopefully, potentially, which one to protect just in case. Now what's fun about all of these little bits and bobs here on the gauge is that they can be customized. For instance, if we actually go down here on the options, we can turn off the actual visual temperature indicator here if we don't care to know the number and all we care about is the visual of the bar in the background, as of course this will increase and change color as the temperature temperature does increase, and if we do want the temperature, but we don't want the upper limit of the temperature, so for this part, the 1200, we can turn that off right there, just by turning off that temperature limit. The next option is to turn on or off the temperature rate, which personally, I really love that option. It's, it's, it's very nice seeing how quickly it is either increasing or decreasing in temperature. I find that very, very interesting. And then the next option is actually to turn off that critical part, which I actually find a little bit sad. Why, why would you want to turn off the thing that is telling you what to watch for? But hey, if you would like to, you can. And the next option is actually really fun, and that is highlighting 
the critical part. You can turn on or off, which to show this, we can actually trick this temperature gauge into thinking that the thermometer is in trouble. And basically what the highlighting is going to do is as it approaches critical temperature, this part is going to start flashing multiple different colors. And we can trick it by dropping our threshold up here and basically, there it goes, it's starting to flash because it kind of thinks right now that, oh no, this temperature gauge is going to explode even though it literally is well within its safe temperature range. But yes, you can drop that threshold there to trick it. And that is what the flashing looks like. It just goes between a couple of colors and is highly visible. And of course, no matter where you are on the ship, it goes through the ship, which is quite nice. So you can always see it and know exactly where things are going horribly, horribly wrong. But let's actually uh, bring this back up to the standard defaults there of 0.5 and 0.4, beautiful. And then the next option we have is an ignore part list. And this is interesting. Now I've personally never used this because basically what you put in here is you type in the name of certain modules, comma separated if you have multiples, for this list to ignore. Now you're gonna have to know the exact perfect name of each part, but it's, I guess, useful for people who maybe have uh, weird modded parts that may say a certain temperature, but in reality aren't affected by heat, things like that. So you can ignore parts if you so desire, which is convenient. And then down here below this, we have some other interesting options. Like if we right click on our thermometer here, you'll notice we have the core temperature and skin temperature of the object, and it's showing the current temperature, the max temperature, Temperature, and of course the rate of change and just like on the thermometer we can turn these things on or off so if you don't want those temperatures showing at all you can turn that right off there or if of course you only want the temperature but not the limit you can turn that on or off and of course same thing with the rate now for me I just like having everything on because the more information the better but hey if you don't want all the jumbled up things and then they, you do you. And then the next option we have is actually the ability to lock this gauge in position. Now right now, it, by default, it starts up here, but if you turn off the lock, you can just click and grab it and move it to wherever you'd like. So if you do have other mods that are adding on other things in here to your UI, you can move this to wherever it's most convenient for you. And then once you have it in place and you don't wanna move it again, you can of course always lock it. And if if I try and click and grab this, nothing happens. And the last is we can actually turn on or off of the button over there, which I don't know why you'd want to turn it off. It's just so convenient to click the button and get to work. But that is how everything functions. And so let us leave this thing on so you can see how it all works as we do launch this ship and hopefully have some fun. So let us just uh, turn on the SAS, fire. It's actually gonna take until the second stage to actually get up to the speeds that'll actually heat everything up. Oh my, it actually switched over to the mystery goo container. Interesting. Oh, it's back to the thermometer. Oh, they're both at 1200. Oh, I didn't notice that, okay. So I guess it's bouncing a little bit back and forth between the two now that we're in flight. And all right, we're about to lose these. Drop and fire. And we should, there we are, we are increasing in temperature at a rate of 0.5 Kelvin per second. And you can see the bar going up, as well as of course our numbers. And if I right click on the thermometer, you can see those numbers going up as well. And normally this would roughly be the point where the gauge would come on. But now since I've left it on, we're just up here to the max. And oh, there we go, we lost some things. We lost some things. Oh, there went the thermometer. Hey, we still got the mystery goo container though, and the barometer. And there we are, it is all now cooling. The barometer is now technically our weakest part and it is flashing up oh, and uh, there we are. The temperature is going down, 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 and that should, the flashing should, st there we are, it stops now that it's at safe levels. And there we go, that is our lovely temperature gauge. Now let's reset this thing to launch and we'll turn the uh, gauge off so that we'll only have it show once it actually is needed. So how you'd normally be using this thing, at least by default. So we'll turn off the OA show gauge 
And let's uh, right click on this again so we have the thermometer and fire. Oop, oop, I forgot that. Well, let's right click it again now that we're in flight. Beautiful. There we are. Our temperature is actually decreasing a little bit right now, which is, well, I guess, good. And kind of going a little bit wobbly. Interesting. <laughs> So that, that's why I like keeping these options on, because even if you don't have the bar, you can look at individual parts to check how they are doing with their core and skin temperatures. And so we should start to be getting the uh, gauge pop up here in a moment. Yep, there we go. We are rapidly increasing. We're up to 400 now. At 600, it should turn on. And there we go. The gauge is on. And perfect, perfect, we are in flight, and it's gonna explode again. Yes, there we go, we've lost a few things. Well, only the thermometer, only the thermometer. And so now it is going down, and at 40% of uh, this barometer, it should disappear. So once we have it reach, come on, keep it moving, keep it moving. It's actually slowing down the rate of, uh, of uh, the uh, cooling. There we go, at roughly 480, it disappeared. And so that is how this critical temperature gauge works. I love the extra information that it shows. I love the gauge itself. It's very cool, very easy to see, a lot easier than those little bars here, and just shows you a lot more information. I love knowing the weakest part, what its temperature is, so I can watch as we get closer to it. And of course, I love all the beautiful options in here. But uh, yeah, that really is all there is for Critical Temperature Gauge. If you'd like to check it out for yourself, I definitely suggest to go and give it a try. And you can take a look at the uh, link in the description, as usual, to give it a download. But that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and of course, you do come back for the next, when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!